what did thing of a bob go? Oh, she lost her phone, so she's gone to the police station to see if someone's handed it in. Oh, that's not good. What's that noise? This isn't mine. Oh, that must be Thingamabob's phone. Oh, but she's on her way to the police station. Well, one of us should run and catch her, right? Oh, don't look at me. I can't possibly run in these. It'd ruin my makeup anyway. Well, I'm really tired from gardening, and I don't think these wellies will let me run very fast, but I'm sure I can give it a go. Get your knees up. <sighs> nope, I'm sorry. I don't think it's gonna work. Well, I've only just bought these, and they're so pretty. I don't want to damage them straight off. I could go barefoot. Ugh, okay, I'll give it a go. Ooh, ow! Nope, sorry, definitely can't go like that. Well, it's a good thing I've got trainers on then, huh? I might not be Alex McLaren, but I'm sure I can catch a thing and more bubble quickly with these things on. Morning, boys and girls. I'm pretty fast, huh? So I thought we should probably do a refresher because it's been quite a long time. So if you remember that we were doing a series on the armor of God, you'll also remember that we looked at the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. And today we're going to look at the shoes of readiness. So that sounds a bit funny, doesn't it? Should we try and work out what that means? Well, the readiness that the Bible is talking about here is the ability to be prepared for battle, for all the difficulties of life. And what gives us that ability to be prepared to have readiness is the gospel of peace. So the gospel, which means good news of Jesus Christ, is what brings ultimate peace between us and God. Without the cross of Jesus, it is impossible to have peace. We cannot be sure about where we're going when we die, and we can't live in relationship with God here on this earth. But because of the cross of Jesus, we can have true, lasting, perfect peace. We can know love and, and obey God and we can have eternal life with him. And once we know Jesus, we should want to pass on that good news. I know I do. So why shoes? Well, what are our feet for? They're for walking, running, pedaling, paddling. They are what gives us the ability to move. So this verse means that we need to be ready to move with the good news. Just like at the beginning, when I found Thingamabob's phone and I wanted to catch her up as quickly as possible to deliver it, when we've got good news, we want to deliver it too. We want to pass it on and not just keep it to ourselves. And the gospel of peace is just that. It's good news for everybody. So we must be ready to take it to people. A brother, a sister, a parent, or friend, or classmate, or neighbor who doesn't know Jesus. Like at the beginning, only one pair of shoes made me ready to take the good news to Thing and Bob. In the wrong shoes, I wasn't prepared to move. So how can you be prepared? Well, first of all, you need to remind yourself every day of what Jesus did for you. You have to be able to remember the good news to pass it on, don't you? And it's spending time with Jesus that helps us to remember how good he is and the peace that he brings. And then you can try and be ready at all times for someone to ask you about what you believe. So if they say, what did you do this weekend? You can very simply say, I went to church on Sunday. And if they say, why did you go to church? You can explain to them what Jesus did for us on the cross. And you could even invite them to come with you. Or it could mean being ready to be an example of Jesus to others, looking for opportunities to show kindness or love or goodness, and in that way, demonstrate the good news to them so that they can see Jesus in you. And you know what, when we do this, when we look for ways to get the good news to people and in doing so build God's kingdom, it helps us to be prepared for battle in our own lives. It reminds us of the good news of what Jesus did for us. It strengthens our faith, it makes us ready to face difficulty and it brings us peace. So this week, after you put on your clothes and the spiritual armour of God at the same time, put on your shoes and as you do so, think about how you might be able to move with the gospel, with the good news of Jesus Christ to someone you know. Ask God to help you and he will listen because he has brought peace between him and his people. So thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you really, really soon. Bye.